Okay, guys. First of all, um, there will be no slides, so you have to have to stare at this. <laughs> okay. So, uh, first of all, I'm sure you guys know what Joomla is. <laughs> if if you haven't heard Joomla by now, that means uh, uh, something wrong with you guys. <laughs> I will explain a couple of things about uh, about Joomla. But uh, before that, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Azro. I run a software uh, development company in Mid Valley, not my Valley, Mid Valley, <laughs> over there, just across the road. And we do a couple of cool stuff, mostly around social networking uh, products and a couple of other products. Okay. And uh, at first, uh, I was told that I was just supposed to sit on this. this Okay. Yeah, and then uh, you guys have uh, questions for me, but apparently uh, people, everyone is bringing their slides, so there's no slide here. And uh, what I want to uh, talk about is some of the myth about Joomla. Okay, so because I've talked to people, web designer, they generally know what Joomla is, but for some reason people are so not so cool about Joomla. They, they, uh, yeah, they, they have some sort of uh, reservation about it. So I, I just want to address a couple of myths about uh, what Joomla is. Okay. Uh, first of all, most of the slides that you have seen, you can actually search and replace all the whatever Drupal, WordPress, whatever words, and replace Joomla there, and, and probably 99% still valid. All the templates, all the templates uh, system, all the API, all the uh, multi-site, multilingual. I think I think there's no argument there that that. If any CMS is going to uh, make it, those are pretty much given. So uh, there's no point uh, listing them all. But uh, one, uh, there's three main issues about Joomla that I want to uh, address directly. Okay. Number one uh, is people say Joomla is ugly. Okay, every single Joomla site look like a Joomla site. <laughs> so you can see, you can see someone's uh, 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 a screen like uh, a mile away and know it's Joomla. So, uh, in fact, I, I it happens to me as well. Now, now when I when I browse, I can, you know, I just see Joomla, WordPress, Joomla, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla. Joomla. So, uh, as, but Joomla in particular are uh, notorious for that. Uh, and partly it's not really Joomla's fault uh, that it happens to be that way. It's just that uh, the design, uh, people are so lazy. The moment they have, uh, you know, the, the reason they pick Joomla in the first place because they are lazy. They just want they want this thing to go up and running, and, and then they become even lazier. So they just go download from the web and install it and don't bother to change a single thing. So and and that's where the reputation come from. But it doesn't have to be that way, okay? Joomla has one of the most amazing template system around. Some of you may laugh, but actually, uh, if you look at the Joom, how the way Joomla template is structured, it's actually very, very clean, okay? If you, des if you look at the whole uh, interface design, uh, every single element of Joomla actually can be sub templated by, by the app externally. Meaning that, let's say, uh, the, the content itself, the whole content area, just the minor content area, you can you can decide to just template that particular area. Okay? The Even better is that if you install a third-party plugin, you don't have to touch those third-party module, third-party component. You can actually implement a template override just for that component. <coughs> so it is actually possible to have like a Joomla site and then... Uh, install all the all the rubbish you find on the internet <laughs> and implement a template override for that particular component for that particular module and and i find that uh, uh underused uh, greatly which is a pity uh myth number two joomla code is messy <laughs> It's not true. Okay? The, the reason is that uh, one of the reasons why this gets spread is because of Joomla 1.0. Joomla 1.0 is not Joomla. It's, it's, Joomla. It's, it really is not Joomla at all. That's just a name uh, that happened. It's, Joomla 1.0 is essentially Mambo wrap up together and, and they, 
they rename it to Joomla. But uh, it's no longer true since the last few years. And if you have, if anyone ever bothered to take a look at uh, Joomla, it is actually have a very very clean object oriented design behind it. Almost everything is J object, and that um, uh, almost the the library, especially in Joomla 1.7, is the is the gold mine of Joomla. They call it uh, what we call a Joomla platform. Joomla CMS is a bit crappy, but the Joomla platform is is gold. It's actually a really well designed framework. Okay, so. Um, if, or what you can do is you can just look at the index.php uh, file and see how uh, it's done compared to WordPress. If you look at WordPress, um, it, it is a, it's a structured, uh, uh, partly structured uh, programming, but uh, if you take a look at Joomla, it is done beautifully. Uh, grab the ob application object and uh, render the application object and so on. But uh, the libraries within the Joomla framework has lots and lots and lots of stuff that people are not aware of. Okay. Uh, some of the some of the libraries that they have there, uh, maybe uh, they have a very good form uh, renderer in uh, Joomla one point six and and uh, and upwards. Uh, they have a very very comprehensive ACL system uh, is unfortunately is actually very textbook uh, like but it makes it very very powerful so uh, all the rules permission all the cascading permissions it's all there so anything you want to do with regards to permission it can be done in 1.6 words the configuration is not easy uh, unfortunately but it's there okay myth number three is that there's no progress in Joomla. Some people think Joomla has stopped progressing because it looks the same over the years. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. Even there's a game, there's a game if you put Joomla 1.0, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, the back end stuff, it looks, you know, the game spot the difference. <laughs> there's no difference. It's, it looks exactly the same. Uh, this is where I, I must say that there's a difference between uh, progress and perception of progress. You know, uh, just because there's no uh, there's no uh, uh, there's no visible progress, that doesn't mean there's no progress. Okay, what happened was over the last few years, there's a lot of work was done on the code itself, uh, which is basically they, they throw up all the 1.0 code they move up to a very clean uh, code in 1.5 and they add up, uh, they add some very significant stuff in 1.6 onward. So a lot of the effort is actually done on the code. And somewhat the design part is, is lagging behind. Uh, I have to admit that. But having said that, uh, there's a new uh, user interface uh, team uh, at Joomla. It's the ux.joomla.org. So it's led by uh, Kyle, Kyle uh, and very, some very capable uh, people. So uh, what you see next in the coming uh, months is that uh, a very significant change in the way Joomla operates. Uh, so expect all the cool stuff, all the iPad uh, compatibility out of the box, iPad, iPhone, old Blackberry. Uh, I hope so. I'm not, I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Uh, but expect all of this uh, responsive design and all to come within the next six, seven months. So there's already a lot of uh, design, a lot of uh, uh, sketches are, are done. But uh, I can I can tell you that uh, the progress within at least the interface is is there, and you will you will be visible soon. Oh, security. Pardon? Security. Security. If you put a, a, a Joomla. Freshly installed Joomla site with freshly installed WordPress site, you're not going to find any any security uh, differences. But uh, the moment you plug a third party in, that's that's when all all things break. And Joomla in particular is is crazily uh, uh, famous for security because people tend to to, to put like all sorts of crazy stuff in the in the in their site. 
I've seen the site with like a few hundred add-ons, so there's no way you can uh, properly secure that unless all those extensions is actually filtered properly, which uh, nobody really does. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'll wait for your questions later. Awesome. Thank you very much.